Hello everyone and welcome to the order. Today I'll be showcasing the Mark II DIY test bench. So this is the Mark II, the upgraded version of the Mark I. Now the reason why I made it is because well I realized it is totally impractical to have a test bench which fits only micro ATX boards. Now it's a bit different in terms of design compared to the Mark I. Uh, because I didn't have any extra spare parts to make the motherboard tray bigger, I had to salvage the top fan assembly and I decided to go with two 120mm fan which intake cool air to the GPUs and the VRMs, RAM and CPU. Now let's go over the design. Like I said, it supports standard ATX boards and the other smaller form factors. Uh, it supports also two 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch drives. As you can see there is no GPU length limitation and CPU cooler height limitation. Now unfortunately, well not exactly unfortunately because I had to relocate the hard drives here. Now there is a PSU length limitation but and the case supports PSUs up to 23 centimeters long which I think is more than enough even for the highest end PSUs. Now, like I said, these two fans are intake fans, this one cools the GPUs, while this one cools the, the RAM, the VRMs and the CPU. Now one more thing which I had to do was to design a PSU quick release mechanism. The reason why I did that is because well, the hard drives are mounted on the back of the PSU and not, I cannot simply slide it in. So this is what I made, if I remove these two, these two screws holding the PSU in place. Now I'll remove them. Now remove this one. Like so. I can simply push in the PSU slightly backwards, slide the brackets out of the way and pull out the PSU. So I removed some of the components so that you can see the design more closely. Again, the test bench is made out of multiple steel components connected together with screws. Now, because the case now supports larger components, I added more structural integrity. So I added these plates and these supports. Here you can see where I extended the motherboard tray so that it can support uh, standard ATX boards. Now, uh, I didn't use any extra parts because I couldn't afford another construction set, so I salvaged the top fan assembly on the Mark I. Uh, I will put uh, the video to the Mark I somewhere on the screen so that you can see the design more closely. And again, I claim that it's modular because basically all of these connections can be changed by rearranging the parts and retightening them with the screws. Now, as you can see here is the PSU length limitation, but that's not exactly a problem because 23 centimeters is more than enough. Here are the two intake fans and the two hard drives. Now, the price of the case still remains $15 like the Mark I because, like I said, I didn't use any additional components. Now, all of these components are scrap, which I used to measure the case. This is my old 4850. This is a burnt out 3850. Older enthusiasts will rec recognize this board. It's an old DFI NF4. This is RAM which I got out of the HP PC. This is the Franken fan. This is another broken fan. Uh, the hard drives are a 10 gigabyte Seagate and a 5 gigabyte Quantum drive. And basically, this is an old PSU. And here is a 360 view of the case. And here are a few snapshots. And so, this concludes my showcase on the Mark II DIY test bench. If you have any tech related questions, feel free to send them in. Like, comment, and subscribe for more tech videos. This is the Tech Order. Signing out.